one of the biggest struggles of being a wife that I have found is give me some Welcome back to another video. Happy New Year to everyone. I hope that you had a great Christmas and a great New Year. Today, y'all, we are getting our lives together. One of the biggest struggles of being a wife that I have found is figuring out what to make for dinner every night. And I know it's same wife, mother, whatever. When you are a woman of a household, like one of the biggest struggles is figuring out what am I gonna make for dinner every night. I feel like I'm making the same meals. I do not be excited about making food. Then it forces me to eat out, then I'm spending money and I'm not eating healthy. And it's like, girl, it's just literally. So that is a struggle. So I, I probably do need to make a separate video on like what I do to help me with making meals. But girl, I need help. If you have solutions, please comment down below. I need to go grocery shopping because we have like no groceries. So yeah, we're about to go. I don't have any idea on meals because I, I found that it's just too much. But I'm about to go to like three different stores. And then I have to figure out what I'm gonna cook. Oh, come home, bring it up three flights of stairs. And then put it in, the, put it up. Clean up everything, clean, unpack, load the fridge. And then you want me to think about a meal to make? I'm built for battle. I got my Stanley full of water. I have my tennis shoes on because I need to be comfortable. Cause this is a whole like, this is a shift. This is a job shift right here. This is a part-time job shift. So let's go and take y'all with me and just walk y'all through the process of like how I go grocery shopping, what I get, how I put my food up. Um, because I feel like it can help. Okay. So I like to break my grocery shopping up in three different categories. I normally go to a store that sells things in bulk, which is Sam's Club. And here I get all of my meats. I get eggs, cleaning supplies, water, cereal, things that I know I'm gonna get the most bang for my buck. We are just a family of two right now, so I don't need to buy a lot of things in bulk, but I have found that getting meat and eggs and different things like that lasts us throughout the month and we save. I love to get my eggs from Sam's Club, y'all. I get them for a great price of $4.98. Pastry eggs, eggs only because they are the healthiest. I also love to get spring water, spring is king from here. And then I get my cereal. This is a great deal. You can get two boxes of cereal, okay, for $6. Hello? Regular grocery stores are not doing that. One box of cereal is $6. Another thing that I like to get in bulk is snacks. I find that I get snacks for a good price and I get a good amount of them so they will last us for the month, hopefully, because my husband is a snacker, y'all. So this is pretty much all of the stuff that I get in bulk. We are a family of two right now, so I do not need to get a lot of stuff, but the stuff that I did get will last us the whole month and that helps us save a lot of money because it is cheaper getting it this way versus getting it at regular grocery stores. So the next stores that I like to go to is a grocery store and I choose to go to Target. I have found that Target is cheaper than a lot of grocery stores out here. So that's why I go and I'm just accustomed to going honestly. So from here, I like to get stuff that I cannot get in bulk and that I cannot get from the farmer's market. I get stuff like cheese, milk, bread, yogurt, breakfast bars, seasonings, condiments, any of those things that we need is pretty much what I like to get from the grocery store. The last store that I go to is the farmer's market and I did not get a chance to record it because my camera died, but I love to go to Trader Joe's. Those are those brown bags. I get a lot of our food from here. I get all of our produce from here. Some of my favorite snacks, everything y'all. So that's my shopping haul. So now we are back home. Here it is time to clean out the fridge, get rid of all of the old stuff. I normally like to do this before I go to the grocery store, but there was just a few stuff that I missed. So I'm just throwing that away and then I get ready to restock. 
So as I put away groceries and restock my kitchen, I just want to take a moment to really talk to y'all about something because this is not talked about enough. I feel like if every woman in the world started a group chat, right, and we were all a part of a group chat and we get to discuss and we get to say what we're making for dinner or what we're going to buy from the grocery store, then we would be okay. You'd be surprised how many married women, moms, or women of the household struggle with what to make for dinner every night. And it's not talked about enough. Like I gave tips and tricks on grocery shopping and the things that I get. And I wish that some of these things were made accessible to me before I got married because I honestly had to learn as I went. Yes, I did learn some stuff prior to in my singlehood. And I thought like by the time I got married, I was good. But no, sis, this is a whole new life. You got a whole new person who you're shopping for, who you're learning what they like, what they don't like, like all of these things. And I'm sure as we continue and we grow our family, I'm going to have to relearn again. But it is definitely an adjustment and a learning curve. And so I just want to take this moment to encourage any new wife, any new mom, any woman of the household who is taking care of people or who has that responsibility ability of cooking and getting food for the household like it can low-key feel like a burden sometimes especially when you don't know what you're doing okay so I don't know we all need to like get in a group chat and like help each other out because <laughs> this is insane so I have found that some of the tips that I've shared in this video have worked for me and my family and I'm sharing them in the hopes that they will work for you and your family for my meats because I get them in bulk I do not just put them all in the freezer I like to separate them and I do this because when I'm ready to cook the meat I just take what I need and it also helps preserve the meat and make it last throughout the whole month so for my chicken thighs and my breast I like to separate them and I also get chicken wings but I don't separate those because we typically eat a whole pack of chicken wings so that's just something that I like to do I seal it up very tightly and I make sure that all the air is out the bag and I lay the meat flat so that it lays flat in the freezer so that it does not take up more space than what it needs to. So y'all know I am an aesthetic girly and if you don't know now you know. And not only am I an aesthetic girly, I strongly believe in structure. I know that my husband and a lot of other men, they need structure, they need routine and they follow it. So as a woman and as the CEO of my household, I like to create structure and I even create structure in the kitchen, in the refrigerator, in the freezer. So in the freezer, I like to put all of my meats at the bottom and then I'll put like my frozen foods in one section. And then above that, we have like our veggies. And then at the top row, we put our bread in there. So those are just some of the things that I like to do. And I find that it helps and it helps my husband because he knows exactly where stuff is and it keeps the structure and it keeps the aesthetic of the home. So that is it for this video. I hope it was some help to you until next time pray and slay sis be encouraged you got this